Good morning, Frank Watkins with Joe. Good morning. Um, 14th of March, the uh, hourly data is in. Just looking at the all odds, uh, a couple of things I'll mention. Firstly, the trend is down. Mm -hmm. uh, however, we have a pretty significant low back here at about 7.022 on the 27th of Jan. We've got a good rally up to these two highs, then a higher low, a lower high, higher low, lower high. So we're just contracting into uh, what we might call a symmetrical triangle. These things are notoriously unreliable and it could go either way. I tend to think that we'll go up, but then I'm biased towards the long side. Um, breaking this line will be you know, a reasonable early sign, but breaking through these old highs, we're in that um, long-term significant low, high, high, low, high, high situation. So we really want to see this thing get above about 7,600. Now, something I want to talk about today is patterns. And one of my old favourites, ascending triangles. If we look at, uh, I think it was CAE, um, this is just about as good as it gets. Now, things that I will point out. Firstly, the price came into the pattern from below, so it should go out the top. It's a continuation okay. pattern. Mm -hmm. Um, for whatever reason back here, we had a, a good sharp three or four day run up from roughly, let's say, 20 cents to 37. So there's a 17 cent run up there. Uh, then big seller comes in, knocks the price down. The buyers come back in. The big seller's still unloading and unloading again. Finally, he's gone. Price backs off a bit and then we go through. There's a very strong psychological reason why these things tend to happen. Um, price is now free to move up and it should move the depth of the pattern. So from 20 to 37, there's 17 cents depth in this. Uh, it should go 17 cents from the breakout point. Breakout point 37 plus 17. Quick, come on. Go, go, go. About 54. 57, 54. Oh, you beat me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's the 54, 55 cent level. Uh, it's well within the realms of possibility yeah. because it has been there in the past. Yep. Yep. Only 524 million out there. If you want to do more homework, don't forget, you click this button and you can learn all about them. They're Queensland. That's a that's a start. Yep. Um, known to be politically stable, <laughs> so on and so forth. Okay, uh, just following up on that, L M eight. Uh, here's another one. Now it has yeah. backed off today, yep. um, which is not showing yet. Um, it's still actually sorry. This is today's data. I thought it'd come back inside the um, the breakout point. But again, the features of this um, gap up. That's a sign of strength. Mm -hmm. I'm measuring the low here from about 65 up to about one dollar. I really enjoy these ascending triangles where the resistance is at a big round number. Um, so from uh, 60, what did I say, 65 to a dollar is 35, could, should go to about a dollar 35. Very tightly held, only 77 yeah, million yeah. there. Yeah. Um, Are we looking at blue sky there? Where have they been? Uh, yes, I reckon that is a clear yeah. blue sky. Yeah. Um, on balance volume, I didn't yeah. mention that with CAE, yeah. but OBV fantastic during that yep. consolidation period. Yep. Uh, if we go back a day, yeah, $800,000 thrown at it, so uh, there's a bit there. Mm. Uh, and I think thus 
ends the lecture on ascending triangles. Um, I think, no, um, I just about had another one spring to mind, but I've lost it. So we'll leave it at that and uh, touch wood, talk to you uh, tomorrow, maybe the next day, whatever. Cheers.